Ever wondered why a satellite stays in orbit, or how a race car navigates a turn? It's all thanks to circular motion. This is when an object moves along a curved path that forms a circle. First, velocity. Even if an object's speed is constant, its direction is constantly changing. This means its velocity is constantly changing. The velocity vector always points tangent to the circle. Because direction changes, there must be an acceleration. This is centripetal acceleration. It literally means center-seeking, and it always points inward. The faster you go, or the tighter the turn, the greater this acceleration. And by Newton's second law, if there's acceleration, there's a force causing it. The centripetal force. This is the net inward force that keeps the object from flying off in a straight line. It's not a new force. It could be tension, gravity, or friction, anything that provides that inward pull. So remember, in circular motion, velocity is tangent, but both acceleration and the net force are always pointing inward towards the center. That's circular motion in a nutshell. Like this video, share it with a friend, and subscribe for more quick physics insights.